Developing this morning, a deadly shooting on the city's far southwest side. We're learning it happened inside the home of an off-duty Chicago police officer. CBS 2's Mugo Digue tells us what investigators are saying so far this morning. Police are calling this domestic related. Sources tell CBS 2 the off-duty police officer was involved in a physical altercation with his son when he fired his weapon, killing his son. The medical examiner's office has identified the son as Rafael Flores. Officers were at the scene for more than five hours this morning. We were woken up by the emergency vehicles approaching. Jeff Jestat lives two houses down from the house near 56th and Nottingham where the shooting happened. He says while he didn't hear any gunshots overnight, the large police presence kept him awake. I'm surprised they're very nice people. Uh, we've always gotten along with them, never had any issues. They've always said hi. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, that's the agency that investigates complaints of police misconduct and shootings, is now looking into this case. In Garfield Ridge, Mugul Digwe, CBS 2 News. Imagine. All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakar Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, uh, you know, you just uh, heard that clip, okay, and how you had this off-duty cop, you know, got into an altercation with his son, and he ended up shooting him, all right? And he now that uh, now his son is put to death, okay? And it just shows you, you know, that the Lord is bringing you people down because, you know, it's a, a funny situation because, you know, you got these cops, you know, they're very prideful, especially if, if you've ever been in the city of Chicago, and if you encounter the cop, you know, they, they believe, you know, that they're the law. All right. You can't tell them nothing. You know, they're uh, extremely prideful. All right. And, um, you know, basically they, they, they feel that, that nothing can touch them. OK. And this guy, you know, ended up, you know, having a situation with the son. Now his son is dead and he's now under investigation. OK. Now he's under investigation and he, he might get put, uh, sent to jail. You know, and it just shows you that, you know, the Lord is not playing anymore, especially for you Jakes that uh, have uh, made that covenant with death, as the scriptures talk about, man. The Lord's uh, disannulling the, that, that covenant, uh, uh, your covenant with uh, death, man. All right. Meaning your, your you know, your agreements with Esau, because our people, they feel like the second they get a city job, you know, a, a, a government job. They made it. Yeah, they made it, man. The Lord right. ain't even in the question no more. Uh-huh. I had a bus driver tell me that I was like, man, because I told him I got basically got in an argument with this bus driver. But basically, just ended up telling him the judgment. And I was like, you know, when all these jobs go, uh, you're probably going to be one of the ones with the last job. But guess what? Everybody around you is going to be coming after you. He was like, and I was like, I'm like, I said, uh, God's basically not going to be there to protect you. He's like, I'm not worried about God. These people, they're not thinking about God, man. As long as they have, as long as these people have like the little false sense of power and their little, uh, hey, their little money, so to speak, they, they think they got it, man. That's right. But uh, yeah, bring out that scripture. All right, this is Isaiah uh, 19. Let me, let me look at one real quick. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Isaiah 19 and 2. It says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom okay oh, and hey, the modern day egyptians are you americans and you're going to be at you know going after each other's throats very soon all right how i said there brother against brother so basically um you know uh you know families are going to fight against each other okay there's no um you know unity anymore in the family everything is uh, uh every, everything is divided mm -hmm. you know this is a divided kingdom right now you know even in people's, uh, uh, you know, households, all right? You know, you might have, you know, one family that believes in Trump, the other f uh, family member believes in Biden. Yep. Or you have one person that, you know, they're into BLM and the other person's into, uh, you know, uh, 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 what, what else is out here, man? You know? Shit. Trump. All lives matter, <laughs> yeah. you know? Come. Hell, all right? remember that movie? Uh... Or they'll say blue, uh, blue lives matter out here, you know, for the cops, you know? It was uh, they always show it to you in those purge movies. It's always some family member that snuffs the other family member out, or some coworker that snuffs the other co coworker out. Mm -hmm. Always, man. But that's what's coming, man. Especially when these people can't eat, man. Oh yeah. And this is still. Remember, this is still the green tree. 
That would, you know what? This, you know, we're just speculating, but that argument was probably over something stupid. Oh, it's, pro- yeah. it's probably over something uh, like, Dad, you, you shouldn't talk like that or this and that, or, you know, some something, something retarded. Yeah. Hey, but the Lord's putting the spirit in these people, all right, to do these things now. Yep. All right. I'm going to read verse 3 for you. It says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Yeah, so hey, the, the spirit of Egypt is failing, okay? Hey, this whole American dream, this, uh, you know, uh, did this philosophy in this place, it's falling apart. It's collapsing. All right? It's collapsing right before everyone's eyes. Look, this is not the 1960s anymore, 70s. You know? It's not anymore. Hey, that those golden era, uh, that golden era is gone. Mm-hmm. We're living in a decadent society right now. Everything's crumbling. It's decaying. All right, from the inside out. All right. It says, "And I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spir- spirits and wizards." Yeah. So, hey, everything that you all hold, hold near and dear is gonna fucking uh go to naught, man. First and foremost, that main idol. Being Esau, Edom, and this uh, this B system, this money system, it's gonna collapse, man. And whatever you people believe in in that day, that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna basically call on. But that it's gonna fail you in that day, man. Hey, shit, you, this shit is over with, man. We we're basically just counting we're just counting down right now, man. The elite know they're gonna push that button, and the elect are waiting for the button to be pushed. That's right. Is there any more or no? Uh. Not nah, that's it on that one, yeah. Uh, what was the other one that you uh, said? Was it the Ma- book of Matthews? Yeah. What, what chapter? Uh, I think that one's going to be... I think it might be an actually Mark 4. Oh, Mark 4. Okay, it's a lock, yeah. Is it where it says, uh, basically, that kingdom being divided? Yeah. Is it Mark 3? Do you know where it's at? Uh, let me see. One Mark 3. Yeah, it's Mark 3. I got it. Three. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, this is Mark 3 and uh, 24. It says, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Yeah, and ultimately... Hey, from the uh, the upper, the upper, like I guess you could say, the uppermost kingdoms, which is the ones that we in the, the major cities, the states, you know, continents, America being Babylon, it's fallen. Hey, even down to like, even down to these households, man. You know, because that man, of course, is the ruler of his household. But hey, you, you see, even even these people households are gonna fail, man. Yeah, that's right. These people, they, they, these people are into so much witchcraft and so much wickedness. Now that their now their wickedness is conflicting with other people's wickedness, man. Because mm. ultimately, hey, if you if you're not worshiping Yah by Shimei Shai, it's wicked, you know. That's right. Hey, his son was probably in the BLM, and he his his dad was in the fucking blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. <laughs> and, and and you got that, man. All right, especially like an area like that where, where um, you know um, where that guy lived. That that's a whole. A neighborhood full of cops, man. You know that 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 blue community. But then you still got Jake amongst uh, that community, where they're getting persecuted. And, and they see the BS, man. They, you know, who knows? Maybe that 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 young man was, you know, mad about, you know, what's going on. You know, you know, he may have said a couple words. The dad got, you know, angry, started, you know, cursing at him or something. Yep. Next, thing you know, they're brawling, and then the dad pulls out his. Because that's the thing with these cops too. Even off duty, they always got that 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 gun, you know. You know, on their side, you know, yeah. ready to, you know, to sling that bad boy, man. Ready to, to fire it. Ended up, you know, uh, blowing uh, uh, his, his damn son's uh, noodles out of his head, man, you know? Come on. All right? You know? Well, I'm going to keep reading. This is Mark 3 and 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And we just saw that that house cannot stand, man. That house fell apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the son's dead. That dude's about to go to prison. He's about to get jumped in jail. Oh, the, yeah. The, the, the wife is going to be all, you know, she's going to run off with whoever. You know what I'm saying? Probably the neighbor that they interviewed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In that, um, in that, uh, um, in that clip there. All right. 
You see? And it says, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. All right? And, and that's what we're seeing, man. The downfall of this kingdom, man. All right? We're seeing everything fall apart right before our eyes, man. All right? Everyone's through out here. No one has hope. No one knows what the hell is going on. All right? And it's a beautiful thing, man. Come. It's a beautiful thing. You know? You got anything else? What's that word where it talks about if it, uh, if it be a minute, it'll come to not? Uh, it's the book of Acts. They, uh, um... Maybe Acts 5. Put, just put a, a calm to not. It should pop up. I think it's the fifth chapter, though. Let's see. How do you spell it? You know, you. It's a lock. I think I found it. Yeah, I found it, Doc. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught. Yeah, but that's the end game man hey because at this point we're not trying to convince anybody of anything we're not trying to save anybody man hey you know what's like we are trying to save the elect but hey the, if people aren't trying to hear it man we're not out here trying to fight debates we're not we're not trying to fucking pull them out of that fire man let, let these people do their thing man because right now these people really got to kill each other off man that's really what's happening right now you know, like how basically if you ever play like the game of chess, basically the, the pawns are going out to war right now, man. You know, a lot of these people are about to take this, uh, this you know, take take this shot, this hot shot, and they're going to fucking get smoked. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are about to get smoked for not taking a hot shot. Hey, but the elect, meanwhile, we're just sitting back, hey, waiting for that deliverance, man. You know, this is, you, you're going to hear more and more about like these type of things, man. This is common, man. Hey, really, you know, the past week or so, all I've been hearing is about, you know, uh, fires um, in you know, uh, being set in people's uh, houses. Um, what else? Um, shootings on the expressway. All sorts of, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, wild things, man, going on. Uh. And it's becoming a new norm now. They, people are talking about, they, they, keep, they keep talking about uh, they want things to go back to normal. This is your new norm. Chaos. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. Okay. But uh, I'm going to keep reading for you. This is Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if the Most High, but if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. Yeah, so hey, if you basically the only thing that's not going to be overthrown is this kingdom of Yasharala, man. Hey, everything that these people hold near and dear is about to just fail, man. Their money is about to fail. The fucking, uh, their, their armies are about to fail. Their police forces are about to fail. Their knowledge is going to fail. Hey, but the elect is going to just keep increasing, man, until that, hey, until that perfect day. That's right. That's right, Doc. And it's because uh. it's ultimately set up that way, you know? Because how about Shemiel Shai ordained it? That's the thing. These people don't get it. If it's not... A, ordained by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's going to fail. These mm -hmm. people are going to soon realize that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men. That's what's really coming to this earth, that realization. You know? Because the Most High is forgotten in this place. Yeah. People really think that they can, you know, do what they want, that, they, you know, that, you know, their strength or their might or their wisdom, you know, got them somewhere. It's not. It's, it's really the Most High. You know? Uh -huh. uh, you know, it is what it is, though. But we're just, like the brothers say, we're just sitting back and you know just watching this man you know we're watching these people fight each other let the pawns fight man oh. hey just sit back you know get some popcorn get a drink and just watch because it's about to be a crazy ride and it's it's actually comical man for us that are in this truth this is really funny because when i first saw this story i started laughing i literally started laughing like out loud in my car because uh, it's hilarious man this is funny hey. these are the same people that were coming up against us though the same people yeah who knows what that dude could have did that kid could have came to the line his pops could have came to the line harassed the brother did anything you know that's right you know hey, it's because they're calamity we're just a little mocking at their calamity we're mocking at their calamities that's right that's right laugh at your calamities man yep. you know but uh you know we'll end it off with that we just wanted to you know touch on this subject and, you know and be prepared as you don't see more of this all right, and with that, you know, we're going to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Also, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.